What's up, Summoners? How you doing? Um, so today, I want to talk to you about Masteries. It is very, very important to pay attention to your Masteries, whether you're just starting the game, or you've been playing for a month, or two months, six months, or for the full five years. Uh, I'm assuming by five years you'll have plenty of knowledge of Masteries, but this is mostly for those who are just getting started in Mar uh, Marvel Contest of Champions, and may not exactly know what to do with their Mastery Points, how to earn them, uh, what to spend them in, and I'll show them right now, I'll show you what I suggest. So, uh, as you begin the game, you start to notice that up in your profile, you have a level. The level cap is 60, so you can level up from one to 60, and as you do that, you gain mastery points. Um, the other way to gain them is through one section of story content, Act 4, 100% exploration, you gain about four extra mastery points. But, um, as you can see, this is my second account, we're about level 40 now. I've earned 35 mastery points. Um, and if you didn't catch that, how you access your mastery is when you click on your profile, there's a little tab right underneath your name called Masteries. And when you open that up, you're in uh, your Masteries. Uh, it's divided into three sections, Offense, Defense, Proficiencies. Um, and there are a few things that I find absolutely essential in each. Um, Number one, absolutely number one. We're gonna start, feels like out of order, but this is a mastery that feels like should have been in the game, but instead they took it out and added it into masteries. Um, if you ask anyone who's played Marvel Contest of Champions for a while, they will tell you it is a necessity. You absolutely must unlock parry. That's this first mastery right here. Um, I've already purchased the Stony Core, uh, we'll talk about that in a second. But this right here, you need to purchase one stoning core and then you have one unit to rank it up. You need at least one point into this parry mastery um, in order for it to be active on your account. Basically what parry does is when the defender throws a punch or an attack into you that's not a special attack, you have a small window to block just as they're throwing that attack and that will stun them and then open up an opportunity for you to counter in and go in and punish them. Uh, this is a very basic function of the game. Absolutely anyone who has gone through through Contest of Champions, man, they rely on parry. So I highly suggest whether you're level one or level five, level 10, save your units, buy a Stony Core, and, uh, and unlock parry. Before we continue, let's talk about Stony Cores and Carbonadium Cores. Um, these are the two things that are required for some masteries, not all, that you need to buy to unlock them. Um, and the most essential, most essential uh, masteries basically just require stony cores. Um, but under the store uh, tab, you can go over here to mastery, and you can see that you have stony cores for 135 units and carbonadium cores for 550 units. And if I'm not saying carbonadium right, I've been saying it wrong for three years. Um, but yeah, these, these cores are required for some masteries to be unlocked. Um, and the most essential masteries uh, I've, that I've found have been useful for me, I've used the stony cores, the, the cheaper ones. Um, then you can see that this store right now is offering cosmic cores. There are different class-based cores that you can use to unlock the class-based masteries. Uh, the only one that is essential, or, or if you're going to use a Mystic Champion, is the Mystic one. Uh, those can be found for free in the daily class quests and proving grounds. Uh, we, those are not extent. They're not essential. I wouldn't worry too much about that. This is for if you're just starting off. You have a few mastery points and you don't know what to do. You can always recover your mastery points and and reassign them to where you want, um, and and then you'll be good to go. So I always start in proficiencies. Uh, proficiencies are kind of your utility masteries. They're for parry. Um, they're for dexterity, which allows you to dodge specials, swipe back, and, and dodge special attacks. It gives you a little bit of um, a boost. It gives you a crit boost for a half second. Uh, and it allows you to unlock limber, which is right here. And that allows you to cut down how long you will be stunned. So if you get hit by you know, Thor's special one and you're stunned, this will shave off some of your time with, with stun. So it's things like that. The only thing I see that is super essential here is obviously parry. 
that allows me to, on a well-timed block, uh, stun the defender. And then, unfortunately, we have to unlock Limber to get to the next essential, which is Dexterity. Um, this will allow you to swipe back on your phone and dodge special attacks and dodge basic attacks. If you're playing a Stark Spidey, this is a way you build up poise charges, um, which is a champion we can talk about in the future. But those two are, are absolutely essential. Those are basically basic uh, fighting uh, essentials in the game. I don't know why they didn't just build it into your regular controls, but they ended up splitting it out into your mastery points, and there we go. So we're going to actually head backwards here. We're going to go to defense. Um, as you see, these lower um, cost masteries, as you also see in offense, um, aren't very you know, useful. The return on investment here is pretty low. Um, in this setup, uh, for a low level, uh, low requirement, block proficiency is very, very valuable. Um, I would max this out four points total. This allow you give you 800 um, extra block proficiency. That means when you're parrying, um, instead of taking, you know, if you're fighting a, a, a stack champion, instead of taking 200%, 200 damage, uh, you have the the chance to take, you know, 15 damage or z even zero damage. You can get perfect blocks off of this. So, um, I will throw one level into the into the vitality. And then I will put one level into greater vitality because in order to get to um, block proficiency, we need to unlock the previous two masteries. Um, and then I will go here and I will max this out. It is only a small amount of gold, but yet it is so valuable. End game players generally have block proficiency maxed out. So there we go. Um, those are the that is the essential mastery I find in defense. Now in offense, um, it's a little bit different. These two first uh, masteries have a little bit of value, really only if you max them out. Um, but they are required to unlock the next thing, which I find incredibly useful in my time in Marvel Contest of Champions. It's this bottom courage mastery. So. It's relatively low cost. It's 100 gold for the first level, 200 for the next, and probably 300 for the third point. Um, so we're going to go ahead and max that out. Basically, what this mastery does is that when my champion is below 50% health, it gives me an extra 20% attack. So if I'm fighting for and hitting into the defender at 100, um, you know, taking 100 damage off them, I'm now taking 120 which is very low, but it, that's like one star levels. But um, basically, this is um, going to be used throughout a ton of questing content. Most of the revives that are available to you, if you have a knocked out champ, um, is a 40% revive. So when you revive and don't heal up, you automatically have a higher damage output from that single revive, or the team 40% revive. Um, I spend a lot of time, you know, especially in long questing content with a champion that is below 50% uh, health. You know, if, if it's uh, incredibly difficult and I need to revive up, I generally just put a single revive into my champion and I don't heal up. Uh, and this I do just to be cost, cost efficient uh, in a fight and getting through harder content, but this mastery also is a nice added boost to that. Okay. The next, um, the next few things I find essential require you to buy stony cores. This mastery right here is unfortunately, uh, I think it's one, one stony core, so 135 units, and we need to unlock it in order to access what I think are some basic uh, but very valuable um, masteries. Uh, lesser precision. Lesser Cruelty are the, the two uh, predecessors to two very valuable uh, masteries. Precision and Cruelty. These two both cost five stony cores apiece, which is insanely costly. It's very costly, but they are very, very much worth it. Basically what they do is 
um, when you're fighting in a match, you see that you have two different colored numbers coming from you know your damage. You have the silver numbers, which are your base damage that you're doing against the defender, and then you have the yellow numbers, which are very, they're much higher. You know, if you're fighting and you're hitting the defender and you're doing 100 damage, well, the yellow numbers might be two, three, four hundred, uh, depending on what champion you're using. These two masteries allow you, those are called critical hits, and these two masteries are solely based on critical hits. Cruelty um, is the mastery that will make your critical hits do far more damage, and precision is the, is the mastery which I find more beneficial than cruelty. This is the one I would unlock first. It allows you to crit more often. That means you'll see more yellow numbers coming out of the defender more often if you have this uh, maxed out completely. And then if you're waiting on any of these, quick tip, if you're waiting to, to, to earn enough units to buy your stony cores, you can always max these out. These will help you a little bit. You'll see that you can check on how much, um, you know, how many points this will add to your base stats. Um, you know, and, and generally I would max them out if you're waiting and you can always recover your points. None of what we've talked about so far cost a whole bunch. There's a couple of units we've spent so far and, and some gold and that's it. But I would call these essential. If I were to do anything, spend any, any units in the game, I would buy stony cores first. Stony cores, energy, refills, and revives are the three most valuable things I find to spend my units on. But your masteries are going to be with you throughout your entire experience in Marvel Contest of Champions, and you need to focus on them completely. Okay, in my main account, I have almost everything unlocked. Years ago, uh, probably two years ago, they had an event quest that um, basically allowed me to unlock these masteries for free. Um, it was a Rockets Scrapyard on, on the release of, I think, Guardians of the Galaxy 2. You could uh, go through some fights, earn some scrap, and then sell, sell it for, you know, carb cores, stony cores. But if you're just starting out, I would consider these the essentials. These two that I haven't unlocked, uh, the, the Courage here, uh, Perfect Block, oh no, Block Proficiency, uh, parry and dexterity okay the next level after I've unlocked my my ability to crit I'll go back into to um, into proficiencies uh, max out parry if you if you haven't uh, definitely max parry out and then go up to stupefy which basically extends any stun so if you're parrying you're gonna leave them in a stun state. When you max out parry, it'll stun them for a little bit longer, and then when you unlock stupefy, I believe it's one stony core. Don't hold me to it, I can't really test it, I haven't found out, you know, I think it's one stony core, it's relatively inexpensive. Uh, I would unlock this, it extends all your stun duration. Very valuable. Um, these two, petrify and pacify, basically what they do is they, uh, they shorten uh, regeneration abilities and power gain abilities and ability accuracy while the defender is stunned. Very, very little time is, is the defender ever stunned that you're fighting in, into them. So I don't value those very much at all. Limber, we might as well talk about it. It shortens the duration of your stun, of how long you are in a stun state. Really, it's for Alliance Wars defense, or if you happen to get caught by, by a special attack or some sort of stun. Um, I don't value that too much. I don't plan on getting stunned. Um, if you have, so I still have a surplus of 18, um, 18 mastery points, and I don't have enough units to unlock the two critical, um, critical rating and critical uh, how often I crit uh, masteries. So what am I gonna do? Well. I find Perfect Block, it's relatively cheap, it's very cheap, uh, and I find it to be uh, relatively valuable, nothing crazy, um, but every once in a while, when you block, this will allow you to take no damage from a block. Um, that can be really valuable if you're going through really long content, um, allows you to have perfect parries, but it's nothing crazy, nothing essential. Um, I still have 14 points. Well. If you play a champion that has a fury effect, like a Medusa 
or Captain America, Extended Fury might be something based on your roster that you would want to unlock. Uh, I have in this, and I, I have Hyperion, and Hyperion has a, a Fury on his heavy. So if I want to extend his fury and get the most out of that one particular champion, the champion that's going to get me through the most content, this is a relatively cheap uh, way to, to uh, boost him up a little bit. But this is based on a specific set of champions. Okay. This one um, just increases the potency. So your fury is going to be even stronger. going to allow you to have more attack, more... Um, uh, yeah, more attack. Okay. So, after I have done all of that, I still have some extra points. Um, I don't have the units yet. Um, the best thing for me to do is either invest. We'll talk about this greater strength. It's the overall attack of your champions. You can dump... What do I have? Six points left. That'll give me to uh, level seven. That'll give me 5% more attack. So if I'm if my attack rating is 100, it'll now be 105. So like I said, it's not very valuable, but until you build up as a newcomer, uh, a unit stack uh, enough to buy stony cores, or if we earn them in um, event quests, or if they have offers, every once in a while they have offers where you can purchase stony cores for really cheap, as well as carbonadium cores, um, then you can go ahead and, and, and get these higher end masteries now the two high-end masteries that most people go for are the suicide masteries or the deep wounds masteries and I've even seen setups where they have mixes of both uh, but just to show you how crazy these are um, we'll, we'll talk about deep wounds first on my main account this is what I this is what I basically this is what I use every day um, but the barrier to entry is quite steep so just to unlock despair, which you, which is what you need in order to unlock um, deep wounds, it's two carbonadium cores, which is about 11, uh, 1100 units, which is crazy. And that is just one point. If you were to unlock despair all three levels, um, I think it's another 1100 units. It's one carbonadium core per level. And this is very common for these high-end masteries. Um, yeah deep wounds so after you've unlocked one level in despair then you can get deep wounds it basically it extends the duration of your bleed uh, that you do on the, the opponent and also um, if you have fully maxed out deep wounds all five levels it uh, <laughs> it takes away one percent damage um, it does one percent damage instant damage with uh, with the deep wounds mastery and bleed damage uh, I did some maths over here to unlock um, all of Deep Wounds. It will cost you roughly 3,840 units. Uh, and then if you were to go into the next level, Assassins, which basically when the champion is below 18% uh, health, your attack rating goes way up. Uh, to unlock that is two Carbonadium cores, that's another 11, unit, or 1,100 units. And to unlock all of it, all three of these, uh, you're looking at 8,780 units. Totally crazy. Um, and completely unessential. So, uh, we'll talk about suicides real quick. If you're an arena grinder, suicides are great. These, uh, basically, they give you more attack at the cost of your health. So, glass cannon will give you more overall attack but re decrease your overall health recoil will give you better special attack damage but you also take five percent uh, loss of health every time you throw a throw a special liquid courage uh, gives you more permanent uh, attack rating but it also uh, gives you a, a debuff of poison and will drain your health slowly same thing with double edge it'll give you more overall attack but it'll it'll cause you to drain your your health up to a certain percentage with bleed damage um, this is great for arena and it's really good against you know if you're using a double immune champion champion they can benefit from them really well uh, 
Suicides are, are much more an end game type thing. We're gonna do a whole nother video on that. These two you might hear, I wanted to just briefly talk about them. You might hear them around the community. You know, I have Suicide Mastery set up, or I have a Deep Wound set up, not essential. Uh, you can play this game in the end game and not have either one, although I recommend it being a, a long-term goal. If I were starting out and if I were going all the way up to Act 5, I would really just focus on saving my units for Stony Mastery cores so I can have better critical hits and more critical hits uh, with the Precision and the Cruelty node uh, Masteries. And then I would definitely, 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 the first thing I would do is unlock parry. Uh, but yeah, is there anything else that I can think of? We never talked about the, the deeper end of uh, the defense. Uh, if you have a bunch of units because of Cyber Monday or, or Cyber Weekend or you know Christmas is coming up, um, you can always unlock these two top uh, defense masteries, salve, and recovery. I don't find these to be essential. Basically, salve is a is a necessary evil to unlock. Um, uh, recovery. Uh, recovery is an expense of its six stony cores. I had some math over here. That's 810 units worth. Uh, at three of three, fully maxed out. Whenever you regen, you get an extra 15% of that regen. Uh, not essential it's a nice thing to have i do have that on my main account i've been playing this game for three years i've grinded a ton of arena um and you know i've i've been through event quests where they give you stony cores so i've been fortunate to unlock a lot of this relatively low cost but if i were to start over brand new i would absolutely focus on parry limber and these two crit masteries um but other than that yeah that's it uh, if you like what you saw here today, we're going to be doing a bunch more beginner uh, beginner tutorials and walkthroughs. But uh, yeah, please, uh, if you like it, click like, subscribe, and uh, yeah, have a good one. Stay safe.